Hello. I would like to share a story with you from the life of Wilfred Woodruff. It's a pretty remarkable story just on its surface, but it's also a demonstration of the principle of asking our Father in Heaven for the things that we need. First, the story. The date was the 18th of October in 1840. It was a Sabbath, and Wilfred had been in meetings all day. And when in one of those meetings, the Spirit whispered to him that there was a great work to be done in London. Didn't give him any details, but just let him know. Well, Woodford was kind of used to this uh, kind of communication and went to bed, he retired at a normal time, but woke up about midnight and spent the next few hours just pondering, struggling with how he was going to warn the saints about the forthcoming events and also worried about all the troubles that the adversary was giving him. But then he said about three o'clock in the morning, he called him the Prince of Darkness or the Devil, just came into the room and just laid a hold on Wilford in a frightening grip of strength. His weight was on Wilfred and literally pinned into the bed. Um, and he had his hand around his throat and was just quite literally choking him to death. Wilfred struggled with, with everything he had, but to no avail. He said that he was just about ready to give himself up to his fate of death when it occurred to him, maybe I should ask God for help. I know, interesting, right? At the moment he asked for the help, three persons just came into the room laid their hands on Wilford's head, and in that instant, he was released from the grasp of that demon. He said that from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet, he felt just oh, the Spirit of the Lord, and his whole body just vibrated, just shook, and he was in a great, covered in sweat. His companion, also in the room, George Albert Smith, as they spoke, they found out that they had both shared the exact same experience. Well, you may uh, recognize some similarities between this and the Joseph Smith's account of the first vision. These two, well, these three men learned a remarkable lesson that day. God respects our agencies to such a degree that he nor his angels are going to interfere until they know what we want. And they don't know what we want until we ask, until we tell them. So let us do that. Let us ask our Father in heaven in no uncertain terms what we want and then struggle to get the demons off of us and eventually we might take God at his word to be still and know that I am God. The prayers will be answered. They always are. Of this I bear witness in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.